Okay, today I'll show you how to customize the Palm 2 model using proprietary data and Snorkel's data development platform. For this demo, we'll use a hypothetical banking use case modeled on several real Snorkel customers. Our fictional bank wants to improve its chatbot, but is struggling with the need for high accuracy results across a long tail of customer intents. In the real world, Snorkel customers build models to categorize hundreds or even thousands of potential outcomes. For this demo, we're working with a public data set and we're focused on a 77-way text classification task. The task involves freeform conversations that are unstructured, where some classes are very common and some are very rare. Our bank has set its production bar at an 85 F1 score. Now, Snorkel is an incredibly powerful platform. Google itself has used Snorkel technology to replace six months of hand labeling with 30 minutes of work. So we're not going to cover everything. For this quick demo, we're going to focus specifically on how Snorkel integrates with Google BigQuery and Vertex AI to provide access to data and models. We'll show you how to evaluate a Palm 2 model to establish baseline performance, then apply and evaluate various types of prompts. Next, we'll highlight how to use data-centric techniques to find and fix data issues in partnership with internal experts. And finally, we'll distill an efficient specialized model with a 38-point F1 boost compared to the original out-of-the-box Palm model. Let's dive in. Welcome to Snorkel Flow. To get started, we'll select New Dataset and choose the native BigQuery connector to access data in Google Cloud. For this demo, I've already loaded data, so we can skip a few steps. Once your data is available, you can select a large language model as a baseline to get started with. I'll select the Palm 2 Bison model, and we're going to start with a very easy prompt, which provides Palm 2 with a list of all 77 possible labels and just ask the model to assign labels to our data set. To get started, I'll click Run LF. Now, we'll run this in a streaming manner over small batches of data, and while this runs, Snorkel Flow will present metrics to help users iterate in real time. In a minute, the results will pop up, and then we can do a visual check of responses. Perfect. So if you look at the responses, we can click on the View Incorrect button, because it lets us see how the prompt performs and quickly refine as necessary. For example, a common problem with large language models is hallucination. As we look down through this, we can see that here, the model hallucinated and actually assigned labels that don't exist in our 77 classes. Instead of having to go through this manually, Snorkel Flow automatically maps the response to a known label, or in this case, changes the label to unknown. When we calculate the F1 score, we can see that the out-of-the-box Palm model gives us a score of 50 F1. This is a decent starting point, but it's not close to being production ready. Now, normally we'd iterate on individual prompts or build additional prompts by taking advantage of Snorkel Flow's analysis tools. In the interest of time, we've already done some experimentation with prompts from Vertex Gen AI Studio, then shifted to advanced prompt techniques like Chain of Thought. I took advantage of Vertex AI rate limits to run multiple prompts simultaneously. So the best F1 score we achieved with prompting was a 69. Still not production ready. Now, instead of throwing this work away, we've saved the outputs of these prompts and created programmatic supervision signals that we can use to label intents at scale. We call these labeling functions. Labeling functions can be many things. It can capture a simple prompt or keyword or a far more complex source of signal ranging from existing ontologies and knowledge bases to other models and cluster embeddings. They can also be used to capture subject matter expertise as code. So let me show you how this works. Snorkel Flow provides a range of analysis tools that help you find and fix problems in your data. A typical starting point is the clarity matrix, which lets you immediately identify specific slices of data where the model has very low confidence in its predictions. In this case, I'm gonna click on that upper left bucket where both my programmatic labels and the model predictions are incorrect. So now let's take a look at exactly which responses the model's struggling to classify. Now, typically this is where the data science team would collaborate with an internal subject matter expert. And Snorkel offers a range of tools to make this easy and efficient. We're gonna keep this simple and stay in the data science view. As I scan through responses, there are a lot of questions about tracking cards that were mailed. These should be labeled as card arrival. Instead of having to manually label each one, I can create a labeling function. And in this case, I'm going to set this up to look for the keyword card and the keyword track. And these should all be labeled as card arrival. Excellent. Now, one unique aspect of Snorkel's approach is that labeling functions don't need to be perfect. Under the hood, Snorkel Flow uses advanced algorithms to combine imperfect, imprecise, and even conflicting labels to generate probabilistic labels. To find and fix issues, you create multiple corrective labeling functions using the clarity matrix and other Snorkel tools. And when something changes, 
all you need to do is adjust your labeling functions and retrain the model instead of having to go through and manually relabel data. This is how one of our banking customers was able to relabel 250,000 documents in under 24 hours. So for this demo, we actually spent a couple hours behind the scenes iteratively finding and fixing errors in the data. And once we're satisfied with the results, we have a couple options. If we wanted to train a Google Dialogflow agent, for example, it would be easy to export a high quality training set and upload it to Dialogflow. Now for this example, we actually distilled the knowledge and trained a much smaller model. This new model will generalize over our entire data set and is small enough to be deployed in production environments, of course, using Vertex AI. Our final model has an F1 of 88, which does meet our bar for production. In this demo, we focused on a high cardinality banking chatbot intent classification use case. We started with a baseline Palm 2 model, which had an F1 of 50. With prompting, we were able to achieve an F1 of 69, and after creating corrective labeling functions, we were ultimately able to train a small specialized model with an F1 of 88, which is a 38 point F1 boost compared to the out of the box model and does meet our production quality bar. As you can see, the ability to combine multiple techniques and iterate through the data in active collaboration with subject matter experts enables a team to start with an off the shelf palm model and customize the model to deliver production ready accuracy for specialized use cases. To learn more, check out snorkel.ai or snorkel.ai slash Google. Thanks.